Hey. Good afternoon, Why is y'all. Listening to that? Everybody's listening to the song, I guess. <laughs> I'm here with my daughter, Destiny. Hi. It's uh, such a coincidence. We must have read each other's mind. Our great minds do think alike. Cause check this out. We got support number. Hey. hey. <laughs> Anyways, uh, not reporting live from Planet Fitness. Reporting live from Ross for Less. Um, not too much of a line. My daughter needs to go shopping, so uh, we're gonna go in there and get her some stuff. Plus, I need some shorts too. Usually. I love shopping, but I'm trying not to do so much of that because I have so much stuff that I never really even wear anyways. <laughs> so uh, um, I'm going to go in there and give me some shorts that fit me. Yeah. But I'm uh, thankful for this belt that I got on <laughs> because if I didn't have that, well, I'd be busting a sag. Um, which brings me to my point in my topic today. We're going to talk about thankfulness. Uh, a lot of times we uh, get discouraged about things and... Uh, that come to life basically we don't look at the bright side of things we don't look at the things that uh should be that's a nice car but i'm thankful for my truck yeah that's my baby <laughs> um so with that being said uh, uh we always like get discouraged about things that we go through in life and which you know it comes it comes but um there's always a bright side to it we go through trials we go through tribulations we go through things but those things only make us stronger those things only make us better as uh, human beings as christians as um, people basically um, uh, friendships relationships everything that we go through makes us better and i for one have been through a lot of different situations that have made me very discouraged very like why did this have to happen why do they always got to do this or why is this got to be like this why is why is it so sunny out but why is the clouds in the way, you know? Why does it get cold when the clouds come? You know, just looking at the negative things, but look at the bright side of things. Here comes the sun. You know, it's a beautiful day. It's not raining, you know? I'm here with my daughter, which I'm very thankful for. Um, she's about to be 16, very, very, doing very well in school. So proud of her. Um, terrible time to have a sweet 16, but man, <laughs> I mean, we gotta look at the positive, you know? She gets to, I got to see you know. Birthday. She got to see her 16th birthday, you know. I can let her talk about the things she could be thankful for. Um, but I just want everybody to know, let's just be thankful of things that we have, you know. I get discouraged because, um, uh, just a little topic, uh, I get discouraged because I'm staying with my mom right now. But I remember back when my stepdad was going through his times and going through his troubles, and I said to myself that if my mom ever lost him, that I would be there for her. Well, the Lord must have held me to my word because it took me a minute. It took me going through some situations that I should have got out of to begin with. Um, and then getting in another situation and then ruining that situation, you know. Um, I feel like broken relationships ruin a great friendship. But looking at the positive, being thankful of things, I'm there now, you know. Um, I got a message saying that... <sighs> Which really is getting to me, um, but I, I'm going to let it go. I'm looking at the bright things and know that, that so I'm gonna, not going to let that discourage me. Um, somebody said that I might have been taking advantage of my mother by getting uh, a portion of the property to build my house. It'll be right beside my mom. I can finally take care of her because she ain't got nobody else to take care of her. I'm an only child and she deserves it. Um, she's put up with a lot. If you know my story, if you listen to my testimony, I put that woman through a lot as a kid. So she deserves me to do everything that she needs me to do. And I intend to do that. You can call me a mama's boy. You can call me whatever you want to. But she deserves her son to help her. And I intend to do that. So uh, I'm just very thankful that she's there. She's given me the opportunity to let me help her out. She's, you know, she's always been there. And I just want to thank my mother, Sharon Haynes shout out um i'm thankful for my daughter i'm thankful for my other daughter samantha and i'm thankful for Caden. i'm thankful for these children's mothers that have been in their lives when i wasn't there when i was drinking when i was drugging when i was doing whatever i wanted to do neglecting my responsibilities to be there for my children i gotta give give it up to amy to rebecca y'all did your thing 
I don't know if you guys are going to even see this video, but just a shout out to you guys. You guys did an excellent job with these children, and I'm so, so proud of the way that they are. I love them. I don't know what I'd, where I'd be without them. And I intend to try to make up for lost time, but that's going to be definitely hard since, well, she's 16, Caden's 18, and Samantha's 12, and I haven't really put in the work, but thankful for forgiveness. Um, but really, really, what I'm really thankful for is my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for always being there for me. Um, it didn't matter what I did. He was there waiting for me to turn back with open arms and loving me unconditionally and just saving a wretch like me. Um, I once was lost, but now I'm fine. I was blind, but now I see. I mean, even with these sunglasses, you know, I can see better. You know, it's like Christ's lenses, you know. If you look through Christ's lens, you can see clearly. And I just want to encourage somebody out there. Um, be thankful for what you got, you know. That 45-minute drive to work. Be thankful you got a job. That gas-guzzling vehicle that you got to get to work. Be thankful that you got that vehicle. You know, I just want to send some encouragement. You know, you talk about not having any clothes. At least you got some clothes. Some people, you know, us as Americans, we are freaking spoiled. There are so many kids, so many people, so many just out there that don't have what we have. We are blessed beyond measures. And some people take it for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Because in one second, you could lose it all, including your life. So save it. Ask Jesus to come in if you haven't asked him to, and he will forgive you. And be thankful. Thankful for your friends, your family. And yeah. Sis, got anything? For life. Sis, a lot of thing. things are happening in this world right now about racism and all that. That could have been a wreck. So you be thankful and drive safe. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, but the racism thing is getting a little serious now, so just be thankful for your friends. Keep them in high spirits during these times, especially if that uh, things are getting worse, maybe a second outbreak, but just to be thankful we're still here. Amen. Be thankful, guys. We love you. Mwah. Love God. Love yourself. Love others. And love yourself. Peace. <laughs>